Thank you for watching our short video on how to make the best use of MIMAS for independent learning, practice and revision for exams. To access MIMAS, log into your internet browser and type in the web address www.mymaths.co.uk Make sure you type in this address exactly as there are other versions of the MyMaz website available for other countries. When you get onto the site, make sure you use the school login details. The username is Devnish and pupils are very aware of what the password is for the school at present. Every pupil has an individual login detail they can access their own portal. But for revision, they don't even need to log into this. They can just go into the library, access any area. For example, look at some work on some mental maths, some multiplication and division. And they might want to practice just some work on times tables. So they can scroll down, click on some work on 2 to 12 times tables example and have a look at the lesson. The lessons are, are based on such a way that they are, are worked through step by step and some of the tabs just give you some practice exercises to practice some basic work and obviously some more complicated topics as well depending on what you want to revise over. One very good way is to use some of the speed tests. So the beat the clock rounds are a very effective way of making sure you sharpen your mental math skills. And if this is done regularly, then math skills will improve and retention will uh, improve your, your speed and your knowledge and your accuracy in your basic calculations. So log in and practice, even when work isn't set for homework specifically on these areas. One very useful area of the MyMaths website is the use of booster packs. There are booster packs aimed at levels 3, 4 and 6 for key stage 3. And the one we're looking at now is the D to C booster packs for GCSE. There are 20 areas for the GCSE one. Each area has, again, a lesson to look through. It gives some examples of what each of the topics are. For example, estimation where you round the numbers off to one significant figure and then multiply. And again, there are lots of questions to practice on these areas. So we can see the quick way, for example, 51 times 63, 5, 6 or 30, add on your two zeros. Each of the areas within the booster packs has an online homework associated to it to practice as well. Now, lots of these homeworks would have been accessed before throughout school as practice on the topics, but are useful to go back over for revision again, as every time you log in, there will be a new set of questions. So it's a fresh practice every time you log on. When you get through all the areas for each of the topics within an area of revision, then there are revision exercises towards the end, which give you questions on certain areas, tell you what you need to be able to do to get a grade C. And they just let you practice and mark and check your own work to see have you understood what you've went over during the lessons on the MyMaz revision area. And the most useful thing then at the end of each of the revision topics is the worksheet, which gives you four questions that test that whole topic. And the examples you can see here are the questions on arithmetic. So again, it's how to use a calculator effectively, 
For example, do you know when to use brackets? Or some basic money questions. Again, reading for understanding. And then your estimation questions towards the end. And again, finishing off with another problem solving type money question. So if my math is used properly, there's a great source of independent resources available on all the different areas needed for GCSE and obviously at QCH3 as well. Hope you find our information video useful and if there, you have any further questions don't hesitate to, to contact myself, Mr Brownlee at school or drop us a message through the school Facebook page and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you very much for watching.